That's an expensive piece of kit. That fly screen costs about $300 and it presumably has three jobs. The first job, of course, is to prevent flies from hitting you in the face. That's why it's called a fly screen. It's not because it makes the Vespa fly. That'd be cool if it did, I guess. The second job it has is to protect you from the wind, especially at high speed. So if you're going down the highway, the fly screen should prevent the wind from blah, 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 blah. Right? The third thing the fly screen should do is improve aerodynamics. It should give you better gas mileage, maybe, or perhaps a better top speed, we'll find out. Lastly, obviously, it's sexy as all hell. So, I mean, that's worth the $300 right there, right? Anyway, let's find out if the fly screen accomplishes any of that stuff. Does it reduce wind on your chest or face? Does it prevent fly? I'm not going to test if, if it prevents flies. What am I supposed to do? Go out and get a bag of flies? I don't live in fly country. I'm not going to test flies. I don't know what you want from me. Here's what we're going to be testing. We're going to be testing wind speed using a nominometer. It's a wind meter is what it is. I'm going to attach it to my helmet and we're going to go and we're going to see what the wind speed is as we're driving down the road. Second thing we're going to test is sound levels. So we're going to take a microphone and stick it in my helmet and we're going to plug it into my iPhone and we're going to put a decibel meter up on the iPhone and we're going to see if there's a difference between driving down the road without the fly screen and driving down the road with the fly screen. Third thing we're going to test is top speed. How fast does this thing go? without the fly screen, and then with the fly screen. Does it make a difference? Oh, we're gonna find out. Lastly, we'll talk about comfort and handling in a subjective sort of way, and we'll say, yeah, it's better, or no, it's just not. We'll find out, stick around. Number four will shock you. I don't know. I think that's what I'm supposed to do to get clicks or something, I don't know. Did you click? Let's start with wind speed. To test wind speed, I took the aminominominer, attached it to my head, drove, and the wind came like this. That's what wind does. The instrument that I used is $16 off of Amazon. Um, link downstairs. I, I can almost guarantee you that that thing is gonna be government level accurate. It, how could it not be for $16? All right, let's get to testing it without the fly screen first. All right, so we're gonna get on this road. As you can see, it's a very safe road. Nothing bad ever happens on this road. Hmm? All right. 50. 50, there we go. All right, so now we're hovering around 50. I have no idea what the, uh, what the thing says, but hopefully you can see it. I can't, can you? I don't know. All right. Good times. Riveting, riveting commentary. And uh, I don't know what more you could ask for. Well, I know what more you could ask for. You could ask for um, this to be interesting. Let's try this one last time. You ready? 50 miles an hour. Well, 49, but you know. 50 miles an hour. What's it reading? 52, 51, 50. All right, so here's what we know. Going 50 miles an hour down the road, the wind was about 37 miles an hour right about here. When I was going 30 miles an hour down the road, the wind was about 27 miles an hour. So what does that tell you? I don't know. We'll have to wait until the next round. Okay, now we'll test it with the fly screen. Is it going to make a difference? Oh, we'll find out. Wow, that car's still here. Wonder if it's for sale. I could use a second car. All right, now we're doing the wind test, but this time with the fly screen. And we're gonna try to get up to 55 here and see what we got. I can already tell you, there's 55. I think I can already tell you that it's louder. Um, like by a lot, it feels like. I mean, we'll, we'll test that later, but. That's 55. Here's 50. Again, I have no idea what this is saying because I can't see it.
And now we're on a normal road going 30. 35. Thirty-three. Here's thirty. Twenty-nine, thirty-ish. Oh, I gotta tell you, it certainly it certainly feels like it's louder. There's definitely less wind on my chest. I should have measured that, and I meant to, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. But I think we could take it for granted that there is less less wind on my chest. There's a sidewalk right there. I have a bachelor of science. Do I? Or a bachelor of arts? I don't know. I forget. I'm either an artist or a scientist, I forget. So, at 50 miles an hour, we're looking at about 46 mile an hour winds right about here. At 30 miles an hour, we're looking at like 28 mile per hour winds right about here. What does this tell me? Well, it's windier with the fly screen. I, I think it makes sense. The wind is coming, 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 it hits the fly screen, it goes up, and it speeds up because it's got to go over right so it's speeding up the thing is it's hitting you right about here it's not like hitting you over here it's hitting you right here so it is what it is it's faster at eye level say all right let's test the sound intensity now first without the fly screen all right i got more science for you and that car is still here. I'm surprised someone hasn't stolen it yet. It's a beauty. Uh, we're gonna talk sound intensity. I got a little sound intensity meter going. I've got a microphone in my helmet, tucked right next to the speaker for Messina, which is not on. And we're gonna drive down this road going about 55 miles an hour and see what the decibel level is, both with and without the fly screen. This would be without. Come on, people. Time for science. All right, here we go, science time. Oh, right, I don't know how fast I'm going, so I have to look at my Vespa. We're gonna go 55 Vespa miles. I don't know what the hell that, oh, I forgot to, God darn it. All right, let's try this again. I forgot to strap my helmet on and the thing's flapping away and it's, it's messing with my science, people. Someday I'm gonna learn how to ride a scooter and how to turn off my blinker and how to latch this damn thing when I ride so far. Oh, and the blinker's on. Ha! Oh God, I hate myself. As soon as this car goes, we're doing some science. I'm gonna be quiet for once. Fifty. Fifty-five. Right? So, let's test it with the fly screen now and see what happens. All right, we're almost done with the science portion of this video. And, uh, looks like that car's still here. So, got that coming from us. This is gonna be sound intensity with the uh, fly screen on. I don't care what science says. I, I can, I feel like it's louder with the fly screen than without. But, you know, I'm not a doctor. So. Yeah, no, you need that. Douche. All right, here comes some science. All right, let's get this pig up to up to 55 and see what we got. All right, well, that didn't take long. 55. I don't know, I don't remember what the other sound intensity said it was. I'm seeing you know, a 55 Vespa miles right there. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe there's not a whole lot of difference at this speed. Maybe you can tell in the recording of this versus uh, when I didn't have the fly screen on. You tell me, is this louder than uh, than previous or is this guy gonna cut out in front of me and... See, this feels louder to me. be completely wrong about all of this so we'll find out once i go back and look at the video 
Interesting, I think the results weren't hugely different between having the fly screen on and having the fly screen off. Without the fly screen at about 55 miles an hour, the decibel level was somewhere between 70 and 75 as measured at the ear. With the fly screen, it was 74 to 78 decibels at 55 miles an hour. Honestly, it felt louder than that. I do think that having the fly screen on, whether it's actually louder or not, it's noisier, if that makes sense. I don't know, does, it, does anything make sense anymore? Anyway, not drastically different, measured. The feeling I feel is, is different. Pfft, who knows? All right, time for the fun one. Let's do the top speed test without the fly screen first. Anyway, for the sake of uh, legalities, I'm on a closed circuit road in uh, Ugandistan. And, um, well, I'm not there yet. I'll be there in a second. Uh, so it's perfectly legal and safe. I gotta tell you, it feels like maybe it's struggling a little bit to get up to speed. That could just be my imagination. Oh, well, this isn't awesome. Oh, it's taking me like half an hour to get up to speed. I don't think I'm getting much above this. No, 71. 71 is the top speed that I can get without the fly screen. That's really strange. I did not expect that. As you saw in previous tests, my the last test I did, I got up to 78. I can't really, that can't really have cut seven miles per hour off my time, could it? Or is something wrong with my scooter? Well, I guess it's time to find out. Let's go home, let's bolt on the fly screen and do all of this stuff again and see what happens. All right, let's test it with the fly screen now and see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna guess we're gonna get to 74, 75. I think there's something going on with my scooter, but I'm not really sure. Because 71 seems really low to me, without even without the fly screen. So I don't know what's going on. Let's find out. As soon as I can get some open road here, I'm going to open this bitch up see what happens. Thanks for signaling at the very last second, you douche. Okay. I've had it with you people. Again, we're on a closed track somewhere in, where did I say? Uganda Stan? I think you got to stand this is where we are. I, for, I forget. I'll have to look at my GPS map. I think there's a nice airport here and you got to stand. The you, you got to stand international airport. It's all right, right over there. So the guy behind me is going to get a little miffed that I'm only going, what, 40, 30, oh, 37. Oh, I just want to speed up a little bit. Okay. Uh, I was looking at my Vespa thermometer. Yeah, the thermometer, the Vespa thermometer. That's what I was looking at. It's. 45 degrees on the Vespa thermometer, which in reality is 38 degrees. Of course. I don't know what it is at metric. Tuesday? All right, so here we go with the top speed test again. 71, I believe, was our last. Seventy-five. Probably had a little bit more than that. So I can say conclusively that you're gaining a few more miles an hour with the fly screen than you would without it. That's science. I, that's not me. That's science. That's not science. It's anecdotal, at best. That was surprising. I have to admit. 71 miles an hour without the fly screen and 75 miles an hour with the fly screen. I'm surprised on a couple of levels. I didn't think that it would be that much of a difference between with and without. And I'm also kind of concerned as to why the old Vespa didn't get up past 75 miles an hour. But it occurred to me on the way home, I think it's because I have that bag attached. And I think that bag is costing me about three miles an hour. It cost me a lot more than three miles an hour when it failed on me. Uh, I'm not gonna. It's a whole different story. Anyway, that's significant, I think. Three, four miles an hour, whatever it was, with 
versus without, that's that's a pretty big deal. So if top speed's your your game, I'm saying I'm saying fly screen. All right, let's talk comfort and handling and all that stuff uh, first without the fly screen. So as far as comfort and handling goes, you know, I got to admit, I don't think that this is nearly as bad as I remembered it to be without the fly screen. I'm going, uh, you know, 55 miles an hour right now. I don't feel like I'm getting blown all over the place. Uh, however, it's not a windy day. It's a pretty normal day. And um, yeah, we'll get it up to 60. Yeah, it's not so bad, to be honest. Um, it's not excessively noisy in the helmet. It, you know, in fact, I really do think this is going to turn out to be less noisy than it is with the fly screen. That's my, that's my hunch. But we'll see. Let's put it this way. I could live without the fly screen as far as handling and road comfort goes for, for my uses. If I'm going on a long tour, if I'm going to be on the highway for, you know, an hour or two at a time, yeah, I probably want that fly screen and some earplugs. Uh, and I've got a whole nother video on earplugs coming up because people, I've been doing some testing. I've been doing some testing. And uh, I gotta say, earplugs might be life-changing. They were on the motorcycle for a little bit when I tried them the other day. We're gonna try them on the old scooter here. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's take a look at comfort and handling with the fly screen. Now, can you tell that this is louder? I mean, there's nothing here and there's a lot here, is all I'm saying. Anyway, as far as comfort, I guess it comes down to what you prefer. Because right now, like I said, I'm getting very little wind on my chest, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting a, a bunch on my helmet. And what this indicates to me is one of two things. I got a big old head, or maybe I just need a taller fly screen. Maybe I need a windscreen, right? I mean, I know that's the obvious answer. I don't want a windscreen because I think it makes this go to look goofy. Yeah, I don't really care about looks. I mean, look at me. Obviously, I don't care about looks. But I'm just saying, I have to look at it, and I like the way this looks. So, as of right now, here's where I'm coming from. I'm saying that, yeah, I think it makes a difference at speed. Um, it keeps, it. although it's more wind on your face, it's less on your chest. And since your chest is a bigger center of mass, at least mine is, um, it, that makes a difference. You don't want to be fighting against all that wind. So now all of your helmet's fighting against the wind, probably a little more than it would without the windscreen. But I think in the end, this is a better deal. I can honestly say it's louder. I, I don't know what the tests are gonna prove. My non-scientific data says it's definitely louder. It, whatever, your decibel level may vary. Anecdotally, I'll tell you, when I first got the Vespa, I felt like I was being blown all over the place. And then I put the fly screen on and I felt a whole lot better about my life. But that also could have just been that I was getting more used to riding the scooter. Who knows? Today, when I did my riding around, I didn't. it didn't feel drastic to me. It didn't feel like a drastic change putting the fly screen back on. There were parts of me that kind of enjoy it without. Then there were parts of me, when I'm at speed, yeah, I don't, I don't need all that wind on my chest, so it's kind of nice to have a blow up. The problem is, it blows right into your helmet, and after a while, that can get a little stressful on your neck. Um, but it is what it is. I wouldn't say that the fly screen has any negative impact on handling. Um, if anything, it's positive. Comfort, I guess it depends on you, right? If you don't mind a lot of wind on your chest, then maybe you don't need a fly screen. If the wind on your chest is bugging you, get a fly screen. Also, again, if you want four or five extra miles per hour, fly screen. So am I gonna keep it on or leave it off? Well, here's the thing. One of the things I learned today it's really easy to take it off and put it back on. It took like three minutes to take it off just because I'm kind of a knob. And then it took about 30 seconds to put it back on. And I don't even have the right tool. I have like a bicycle wrench that I used because I, I don't have a proper wrench. <laughs> so the answer is I'm gonna keep it on most of the time probably. 
I might take it off when I do my motor vlogging because I really do think that it's quieter for the microphone without it. Not so much direct wind at the helmet, not so much whatever is going on, turbulence, I'm not really sure, causing noise to bleed into the microphone. I don't know. I'm gonna go back and listen to these videos and see if I can really tell a difference. Um, I haven't actually listened to them at this point outside of just getting the numbers off of the screen. So, you know, let's find out together. You tell me in the comments, because you watched it. I'm not gonna watch this crap, but you watched it. Tell me, do you think it's louder with the fly screen or without the fly screen when I'm driving down the road talking to you about nonsense? Anyway, that's it. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna buy one of these fly screens for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, I would super appreciate you hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, click the like button. We click the like button anyway. Dudes, click stuff. All right, I gotta go. Did you click something?